Hey there, uh, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about EndNote Basic. So EndNote Basic is an, a web version of EndNote. Uh, it's a great tool for organizing your references and importing references into documents and doing citations in a paper that you're writing. It does all the formatting for you, so you don't have to do any of that. It's super easy. Uh, so make sure you've signed up for EndNote Basic. Go to our guides.osu.edu uh, page for $29.90, and it'll walk you through signing up for uh, an account. And there's a few tips in here as well on how to use EndNote. But I want to walk you through a few things. First, uh, let's um, talk about how to even get to EndNote Basic. So what you can do is um, go to Web of Science, and at the very top, click on EndNote. Uh, and it'll ask you to log in. I've already logged in. Uh, but then it'll take you to your online library. Um, the other thing you can do is simply Google EndNote Web. And it should be the, um, the Clarivate Analytics EndNote. Uh, and uh, take you to the same uh, home page for your references. So then I walk you through here. What, what all we have. So at the very top are a list of different things that you will have access to. So it's um, my references, so you can see all of your references. That's, what's, that's what opens here initially. So I've got, um, looks like 200 references in here for various things. Uh, and they're organized, um, looks like now, by alphabetical by last name. But you can change that. You can organize them by year or by title, should you want to. Um, and things like that. The other nice thing is you can make different groups. So if you know that you're going to be working on a particular paper, you can uh, put those certain references into a group that you'll use within that paper, uh, which is really nice, helps you keep organized that way. Um, so if under the Organize tab, uh, it'll talk about managing groups um, and uh, things like that. You can make a new group. Anyway, uh, so let's also look at, let's go back to the references. So this has input a number of different references for me. I didn't put these in by hand. I'll show you how to import the references. But once we click on a particular reference, um, you'll see that it has the different reference type. So this is important in terms of formatting. Different reference types, journal articles, books, websites, will have different formatting that's required. Uh, in your citation. So that's why it puts that title there. You could edit this if you wanted to. Um, authors, you may end up needing to edit these if uh, they're special characters. Some, uh, sometimes web, um, et, excuse me, sometimes EndNote doesn't format those correctly, so you may need to go in and change that. The year, the journal that it came from, the volume, the pages. Sometimes it'll have an issue. It depends on the journal itself. Um, this also includes an abstract, so it tells me what the paper is about, which is really nice. If I want to go and look at my references, I can figure out what this paper was all about. And a number of other things here as well. Um, something that could be useful uh, are research notes. So if you want to type in a note about why you liked this article or a, a little summary and how you think it might be useful in a paper you're writing, that's a really nice text field that you can fill in. Okay. Uh, return to list. Um, I think that's a reasonable overview. Uh, for importing references, there's a couple of ways to do it. One is to click on import references, uh, but you need to have a file downloaded. So with every reference, um, there's an option, every paper that you find online, there's an option to download a file. Sometimes that's the only option, but usually there are better options, and we'll look at those uh, in a different video. You can also add a reference by hand under New Reference, but I don't recommend doing this unless it's your only option, if there's no importing options available. Yeah, it's totally possible to do all that, but again, it's a little bit more work. Um, the online search, I don't use this very often. Um, you could search a, a certain database and connect to it, but I don't know how well that works for us, so I don't necessarily recommend that. If you get it to work for you, that's good. Um, the other thing that's going to be important is formatting. 
So uh, the bibliographic style that you're going to want, uh, there's, there's tons of these in here. And so what I like to use is the Journal of the American Chemical Society. So it'll be under J. Amer Chem Society. And I'll save that. And so this is actually this is going to um, generate a bibliography for me, so we can put all these uh, in a text file, and we can open that. This isn't really useful either, I guess, um, but if you wanted to send this to someone, share it with them. Uh, this is not the way to import uh, citations into your paper. That's just if you wanted to make a list. Um, the Cite While You Write plugin is going to be needed. Uh, you're going to need to put this in Word in order to directly import your references into uh, Word in a really easy way. 